Hi, everybody. Um, I want to answer <laughs> your most common questions, but you're not going to like the answer. A lot of people keep asking me if they can still get the files, if they can still play the game, if the game is ever coming back. And the unfortunate answer to all of those questions is no. If you have the files for the emulator, you can still play with them, but I don't have any way of getting the files to you. There are a few reasons for this. One, the files are huge. I have already been kicked off of several file sharing sites for exceeding bandwidth because as big as the files are, you can really only have a handful of people downloading them per day, like maybe two or three people, and maybe even only one person. <laughs> and then I would get a warning about exceeding bandwidth saying that if this keeps happening, they'll kick me off, and it would keep happening, and they would kick me off. <sighs> Number two, um, EA, which is Electronic Arts, who bought the rights to Pet Society and everything Pet Society related, has sent several legal threats to people who have tried to preserve the game, telling them, you know, they have to cease and desist. So while there were a couple of Facebook pages dedicated to helping people get their pets back, those pages are all gone now because EA has threatened legal action against the people running those pages. So those are gone. And the other reason is I can't simply email the files to anybody because, again, they are too big. And also because most email services now, <laughs> and I've signed up for a bunch of them, I used to be able to email people files, but nearly all the popular email servers that are free don't allow you to send execute files or even zip files or file extensions that they don't recognize. So if you have, for example, a nofil.nofil file, which is what the Pet Society profile is, you won't be able to send that through Hotmail or Gmail or Yahoo or even AOL. <laughs> That's how bad it is. So if you try to get these files to anybody over email, unless you both have private email servers, which I do not, and which most of you do not, you just plain can't send the files. So all I can really say at this point is I'm sorry. Um, this at least this Facebook still exists, but it's not updated anymore. So you can maybe get a little info from these folks, maybe somebody on here, but the last activity is from about a year ago. It still has a lot of likes. Maybe somebody in there can help you, um, but I can't. I don't, I don't know how to help you. So, unfortunately, my only other recommendation is to go on Facebook, look up Virtual Pet Project, and this is somebody who was a huge fan of Pet Society and is now trying to launch their own virtual pet game, which will be very similar to Pet Society. This shows you what the game is up to. Um, they are still active because the game is still in development. They even have art submissions, so if you want to contribute to the game, you can. Uh, somewhere on here, there is a place where you can donate money, because I believe it's just one person trying to do it all by himself. And if it's not just one person, it's a very small handful of people. The only other Facebook, well, the most useful Facebook pages are all gone. 
you can go to Facebook and type Pet Society and see what you get. But honestly, this is not even the right thing. This is the old app page, and this is not updated anymore. So I wish you all good luck. I'm sorry that I can't help any more than I already have. Um, I'm sorry I can't send you the files. I wish there was a way I could. Um, if you already have the emulator files, I can I can probably at least put the no-fill file on Dropbox. Um, I can't put the emulator files up there, though. So um, I don't really have anything good to say other than hopefully Pet Society will be partially resurrected through the Virtual Pet Project. And I encourage everybody to go to that page. So, um, oh, and by the way, if you want me to help you, don't track me down on Facebook and curse me out for not helping you, because several of you have done that, and the reason I haven't helped you is because I literally, physically, and legally cannot help you, number one, and number two, if you show up and start threatening me and start calling me names and cursing at me, I'm definitely not going to help you. I'm never going to help you if you treat me like that. If you treat anybody like that, they're not going to help you. So, and even if I could help you before, I can't help you anymore, even if you were nice to me. But seriously, don't, don't treat other human beings like that. It's not acceptable. You know, Pet Society went out of business in what? 2009? So most of the people who played are adults by now. This is not how adults behave, okay? I'm sorry, I can't help you, but I can't. So that's unfortunately all I have to say today. I hope you can find another game that is satisfactory. And if you have found a game that you like that is similar, please leave a comment and a link to that game. And maybe some people can find a way to fill the void in their hearts that Pet Society left behind. So that's all I have to say. Have a good rest of the day.